Sir Charles Walker. Well, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Madam Deputy Speaker, as sure as eggs are eggs, we will be back here in six months at the end of September being asked to renew this legislation again. It is inevitable. And anyone who thinks it's not inevitable is deluding themselves. But tonight, or this afternoon, I'm not here to talk about eggs, Madam Deputy Speaker. I want to talk about milk. Because in the remaining days of this lockdown, I am going to allow myself an act of defiance, my own protest that others may join me in. I am going to protest about the price of milk, Madam Deputy Speaker. Now, I'm not sure whether I think the price is too high or the price is too low. I shall come to that decision later. But for the next few days, I am going to walk around London with a pint of milk on my person because that pint will represent my protest. And there may be others who will choose two to walk around London with a pint of milk on their person as well. And perhaps as we walk past each other in the street, our eyes might meet, we might even stop for a chat. But I was thinking to myself, and I will continue to think to myself, what will their pint of milk represent? What will their protests be? Perhaps they will be protesting the roaring back of a mental health demon brought on by lockdown. Perhaps they will be protesting a renewed battle with anorexia, with depression, with anxiety, with addiction. Perhaps with their pint of milk, they will be protesting the lack of agency in their life, not being able to make a, a meaningful decision. Maybe a loss of career or job or business. Maybe they will be protesting this country's slide into authoritarianism, or perhaps they'll be protesting the fact that we allow unelected officials to have lecterns at number 10 to lecture us how to live yeah. our lives. Yeah. Yeah. But Madam Deputy Speaker, there might even be people with their pint of milk quietly protesting that the route out of lockdown is too slow or perhaps even too fast. You see, the point is, Madam Deputy Speaker, these people can project what they like, what concern they have, onto their pint of milk. Now, Madam Deputy Speaker, my protest, as I said, will be about none of those things. It will simply be about the price of milk. And as I said, for the next few days, I will have that pint on me. It will be of symbolic importance to me. And at the end of the day, it will be warm. It will have separated and I can choose whether to drink it or pour it away because it will be robbed of its refreshing elegance by the time it's been in my pocket for 12 hours. And if I pour it away, that might cause people some concern, but it doesn't matter because it's my pint of milk and it's my protest. And I'm not seeking people's in claim, endorsement or support in my protest. And you know, Madam Deputy Speaker, I heard and I listened, I heard and I listened to my honourable friend, this will pass, my protest will pass, the pandemic will pass, Madam Deputy Speaker, and in years to come I will be sitting at my kitchen table, perhaps with my wife, and hopefully my children who will still want to see me, and I will break away from our excited conversation about the day, because I will spot that pint of milk on the table. And that pint shall remind me, that pint shall remind me that the act of protest is a freedom. A freedom, Madam Deputy Speaker, not a right. And unless you cherish freedoms every day, unless you fight for freedoms every day, they end up being taken away from you. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graham Stringer.